All right, Hosam update. As you know, I play with a stick in my left hand and a mouse in my right hand. And as you also know, that stick that I use is a Logitech X52 Pro, but not any longer. Unfortunately, the twist axis on my X52 was not holding up to the stress of my twisting and uh, unfortunately stopped working. Perfect time for an upgrade. And what I upgraded to is the VKB Gladiator NXT Evo Space Combat Edition left hand SCG Premium. And I got the premium for a very specific reason. And it's this button right here. You don't get that button on the standard control. You get an extra little hat here instead of a button. And you also get another trigger up here on the front. Let's see if I can find that picture. You get an extra little trigger up here that you don't get on the regular model. And because of the way that I bind things, that's kind of important for me. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, that is one of the greatest things about upgrading to this stick versus uh, the X52. This, this flight stick has so many more functions. The X52 was, was a great uh, HOTAS starter pack, but it, I was using it incorrectly. You know, it, I was using a right hand stick in my left hand. It was still connected to the throttle, which I wasn't even utilizing. So it's kind of just a pain using this stick. Like I, I can immediately tell how much higher quality it is. I, I actually have functions that I'm not even using on the X52. I had it maxed out every button on that stick, every hat, every wheel, everything. I was using it all on this stick. I don't even have keybinds for some of these buttons. There's so many buttons. It's it's amazing. Now you can also get the Omni Throttle attachment, which is what a lot of people use, but I don't use Omni Throttle uh, because that would turn my twist into an up down strafe. I mean, you could bind it however you want, but obviously intuitively on an Omni Throttle, it's facing the other way. So it'd be weird to strafe, to twist up and strafe to the left, right? So I don't use Omni Throttle because my keybinds are are weird. I, I think the way I do it is the most intuitive, uh, obviously, otherwise I'd be doing something else. So yeah, 165 bucks for the premium version, 135 for the regular. It was worth it to me for all the extra function. And because I use specific keybinds, now knowing how many buttons and functions the regular one has, I probably would have been fine. Take that into consideration, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'll also tell you right now, if you're if you're in the market for a VKB and you and you buy one, their tracking system for shipping is really weird. Like they, they it says they come from China, but I'm pretty sure they have a warehouse in the US and uh, all my tracking info was 100% inaccurate 100% of the time. So it actually got here in like four days, three, three or four days. And uh, when my package arrived, the tracking said it was still in China. So be aware of that. It might come way sooner than you expect. It might come never. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. All right. So let's really quickly run through these controls. If you are familiar with my last Hosam videos, I ran through pretty in depth what my control scheme is. And you can get that control scheme configuration file uh, in the Discord channel. Link in the description. So I'm just going to run through this as quickly as possible. And you can stop start the video as you need to. Um, I highly suggest doing this manually and not using a config file because it'll make you familiar with the control scheme of the game. And also you'll know exactly where all the keybinds are when they, you run into a problem, which you in inevitably will, but it's there if you really want to. What I did was I used that Hosam as my baseline and then adjusted for this stick as I needed to. So let's quickly run through this. This button is my cycle power. This button is my open and close all doors. This button is my landing gear. This little paddle thing I use to request landing, request takeoff. Uh, I don't have these bound to anything yet, I don't think. This is a hat because I have the premium uh, version of the stick. It's not in this picture, but uh, I don't use that for anything yet because I have not figured out what I want there. Uh, this button is my flares. I use this for power. On this hat, I have my targeting. This hat has my cruise control and my noise, deploy noise. I think that's all I'm using it for at the moment. So I might end up switching these two because this stick is really like a joystick of a controller. There's not really a button press. And for navigating your power cycle, it's really nice to have that definitive click so that you have that kind of tactile feel for your power triangle. 
Uh, this one's like very floppy, which is great for like movement, but I'm not sure that it's so great for my power triangle. Maybe I'll make that targeting and this my power triangle. Not sure yet. Okay, so this is the front of the stick. As you know, if you see my previous Hosan videos, I use the triggers on the front of the stick for my up and down strafe. Since this doesn't have a bottom trigger, what I'm doing is using this little button on my pinky for the down strafe and this trigger for my up strafe. And it's working pretty well. It's pretty much the same as what I'm used to. Um, this trigger I'm using for my free look. And again, this hat that's on the side here, I'm not using for anything yet. That's the beauty of the, uh, the Gladiator is it's got so many functions and buttons on it that it's like, I have actually too many which I will remedy soon and just start slapping controls everywhere uh, that I feel like I need them. But yeah, that's the stick. In terms of feel, this stick is very stiff compared to the X52. The Logitech was so floppy and just you a slight touch would bring you any like full thrusts or like full throw in either direction. And I just got, I'm very used to that. So having a stiff throw on this stick it just feels weird to me i think it's actually a good thing it makes sure that every move that you make is very intentional and you have to actually put some effort into doing it instead of just kind of accidentally uh like relaxing your arm and it falling back you know um and you can't really adjust that uh you can adjust some they give you springs of different length to adjust the dampening but that's really how it returns to center it's not it doesn't really affect very much how the stick moves around but what i've read on the internet seems to it indicates that the stiffness is a result of the kind of lubricant that they use in the mechanism and i'm not about to uh, take that apart and replace lubricants inside the machine i'm just gonna have to learn to get used to it the base plate is super solid what is this probably an eighth inch it's like steel or something. It, it's heavy. It's nice. It it plants the it's plants the stick on your desk. It's also got rubber feet, which just stick really well. If you have your stick just straight on your desk, it's gonna it's not gonna move anywhere. The only time I have a problem is when I use the X axis when I go side to side for my rolls. If I go too hard, it might tip a little bit because there's not much on either side. But the front and back super solid. This little thing here, this little pad, you can just take that off. Um, I did take mine off because the position of my hand, I have really thick, wide palms, uh, and the position of my hand made it so that my thumb ended up like above the hats when I tried to like use my thumb to interact with it instead of being like closer to all of them. So I took that off and that resulted in a much better hand position for me. With it on, it would probably be perfect for most people if you don't have just super fat, wide palms like me. It's like kind of like a rubbery textured feel, so that's a nice uh, touch. Taking it off though, my my only slight, very slight complaint that's like I'm actually just getting used to and doesn't even matter anymore, but I'm gonna say it anyway. This little side extension to, that you rest your hand on, it doesn't extend as far as I would like it to. On the X52, that thing was pretty wide. It was like, there's no chance of you slipping off. Again, because of my fat palms, I do kind of feel like my hand is like a little slippy. Kind of wants to slip off of there, but I'm again, I'm getting used to it and it's it's not really much of a problem. This, that would be my only real like, oh, this doesn't feel that great. Build quality seems great. Seems like a stick that's gonna last me a while, I hope. <laughs> I mean, who can tell? So yeah, there you go. I'm very happy with this uh, upgrade to the VKB Gladiator. Um, I'm hoping it lasts for a while. The great thing is that this stick is is super easy to assemble when they ship it to you. You just plug in the wire and screw the, the base plate in and you're pretty much good to go. And the software is pretty useless. You don't even need to use it. I did download it, opened it up and just closed it because it are, the stick already worked like it's supposed to perfectly just out of the box, which is, again, exactly what you want out of a, a mid to high-end uh, peripheral. I have had zero issues with it so far. I've used it for two days. I paid the 165, it ends up being like $200 after shipping because they it's like a $40 shipping cost, which is pretty insane. But at the end of the day, hopefully it should be worth it, especially because I play a frick of a lot of Star Citizen. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let me know if I missed anything, anything you'd like to know. Any other questions about Host Sam? All right, I'll see you guys in the verse. Adios.